Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to perform classic updates by running find, edit, and then save. In the good old days, this was what you needed to do if you wanted to edit a document and uh, be able to use it somehow. For example, sending it back to in a server response. Mongoose has dedicated updating model. It's called model.update. It is bound to the low level Mongo driver. It can bulk edit many documents matching certain criteria, but it doesn't send back the updated documents, only a status message. Furthermore, it takes model validations. It makes model validations difficult because it just directly calls the Mongo driver. So we want to find by ID underscore ID. Use any of the above methods with the parameter person ID as the search key. Um, add hamburger to the list of the person's favorite foods. You can use array dot push, and then inside find a callback save and update person. This may be tricky if your schema. If in your schema you declared favorite foods as an array without specifying the type, in the in this in that case favorite foods defaults to mixed type, and you have to manually mark it as edited using document doc mark, mark modified edited field. So we can see the Mong mongoose documentation here. Now I think I already have that up here. Mongoosejs.com mongoosejs.com. Okay, but it's just a different page in there. So let's hop over to REPL.IT. Um, here we've got the instructions repeated. Um, find a person by ID and then update them. Hint, this may be tricky, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So food to add is hamburger. Find, edit, then save. Um, well, first off, we can we know that how to find a person, right? We can go person dot uh, find by ID and then we can just simply pass in the ID, right? And then we want to have a callback function. And I'm just going to write it out explicitly initially. And then we'll have some things to do. Um, now, let's see. And then here we can go error, or we can go the individual. I say individual because it's very explicit, right? And so here, as always, we're going to say, if there's an error, we want to return a console.log of the error. So if something goes wrong, we want to know what it is. Um, if not, well, this is where we're just going to find the person. We could probably just return the individual now. Right? And then instead of saying it like this, we could say, um, we can say let person to edit and set that equal to this result. And we'll just make this uh, the person to keep this one line. Okay, and so now we've got the person saved as person to edit. Um, and what we want to say is the person to edit, what do we want to do? We want to find the person by ID with the parameter person ID, add hamburger to the list of favorite foods. Well, I guess instead of returning it and setting it as a variable here, we could say person dot uh, favorite foods because they have uh, the favorite foods is in their array. And then we can say, I think it asks us to push it on there, right? Uh, which is direct, la, la, da, 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 da. find a person by ID with the parameter person ID as the search key, add hamburger to their list of favorites. You can use array.push and then we'll push their food to add. Uh huh. And then update the person. So person dot save. And then when we do the save, we want to make sure we do that correctly as well. And um, so we'll call errors, the error, and then the um, result. Oh, no, we want to make this person dot save. Oh, okay, how did we do the dot save? I'm going to look back. Okay, we can actually do here. Where did we do dot save? Uh, 
Create and save a person. Another person dot save. Error data. Cool. We can actually just grab this and run it down here. Here we go, person dot save. And then, so yeah, we're gonna do a function of the error in the data, so. Oh, I'm wondering. Yeah, this needs to be tabbed out. Okay, so if the, if the, okay, so here we have the error data, if the error return to the console the error, if not return the data right here, um, which will be probably just like it's been saved. And so now that we've done it here, we don't need to um, have a done function down there, even though I don't think that would break it. And so yeah, let's uh, stop our server and rerun it. That's an important part with these server-based problems. It looks like we haven't made any dramatic errors, and so we can just grab our URL here and go back to perform these classic updates, and we can paste this in here. Looks like we passed the test on this one. Um, we've already refactored here, so we might as well refactor up here as well. Um, so we can, instead of saying function, on that side of the argument, we can just give it an arrow function, which will make it so our code's a little bit cleaner. Um, Person.favoritefoods.push, it's important that that's on an individual line dot save I think because of the nature no I'm pretty sure you need to keep those in there I made that mistake before um, cool so now that we've got that I'm pretty sure that still works and now we just want to get rid of all this commented out stuff because it makes our code look dirty and hard to read and so now we've done it it looks like we've found the person by their ID uh, first we do find edit and save this should also be find edit add hamburger and then save because that would be a better uh, function name for this because that's what it does because the hamburger is hard coded into there. But anyways, it's hard coded in there and we're not gonna change that for now. Uh, we find the person by ID, but at the same time we use a callback function because we wanna be able to know if we made errors in that process. Um, if there is an error in finding them, say they didn't exist, we could just console.log error. We could even say something like, um, person not found or something like that um, but we don't need to do that right now because we don't know exactly what this function is trying to do uh, or we don't know exactly the nature of the application uh, the person favorite foods dot push so here we're taking their favorite foods and we're adding to it the food to add which is being saved as here and so we're pushing on essentially hamburger in this one I mean it would probably this one would probably work if we just did this because um, the way the function's written, it wouldn't make a difference. If, we, if I were to run that, um, I'm almost confident this will work. If I were to complete the challenge, yeah, because it's not really knowing whether or not we use it here or there, but um, that would just be a one way to think about it. And then once we've added that, we've pushed this onto there, that only exists in the immediate uh, working memory of the server and so what we need to do now is we need to tell the ser the server to say to our uh, MongoDB and database we've got to say well we've made changes so now we want to save those changes and so we're passing it in we're saving it the data is the person so that would actually be a better use of um, or I mean I would use individual here because um, we're saving the individual person if you just say data that's like annoying right um, so we're passing in, we're saving the individual. If there's an error, um, then we return the console log the error. And else, if it's not, then we we return, we, we call the done function, pass in null, and then the individual data. And uh, so yeah, I kind of refactored that code a little bit to try to make it a little bit clearer. You can see that now the app's listening. And so if I were to rerun this, that would still be the right answer. And so yeah, I think that that's good for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.